We just got our sketchbox. We just got our sketchbox. We just got our sketchbox. Why is it so late? Hello and welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me in this January 2022 sketchbox unboxing video. Very excited to, I'm not, I don't remember if this is my first video of the year or not. I don't, is it? I don't know. Before I can get started with this video, there's two things that I have to do. One, clearly we have to talk about why I haven't posted last month's video. If you don't follow me on my channel, I decided to participate in art vlogmas this year and it got a little hectic i still have the footage i just haven't finished editing and i haven't gotten around to it and then as it got later i decided that it would just be entirely too late to even post it because who would even want to watch it so i'll be posting an update video on last month's box but there's one very important thing that i must do Last month, an artfully lived life was featured on the box. Congratulations, Jenny. When I saw this on Instagram, I was absolutely mind blown by how beautiful this illustration turned out. I mean, can we look at this? This is just so beautiful and cool and my jaw literally hit the floor when I saw this because it was just so, I don't know, something about it is just really captivating and it was just so awesome and I'm so happy that she got on the box. If you don't watch Jenny, you definitely should. She is so awesome. I've seen a lot of her art videos and they're very helpful and she does awesome pet portraits too in watercolor and i hope to one day be nearly half as awesome as she is at watercolors congratulations jenny you absolutely a hundred percent deserve it if you don't watch jenny's channel if you're not subscribed to an artfully lived life you absolutely should because you will not regret it and you will learn a lot and the artist on this month's box is by kate hicks i think it's kate or is it katie Kate Hicks. Art by Kate Hicks. I hope it's Kate. I don't know why I think it's Katie. I don't know. But beautiful. I love this. I love the little splashes. I think this was with the plain air box, if I'm not mistaken. So this is going to be interesting because I'm going to try to speak as I'm doing this thing. So let's see how this turns out. I already know it's in this month's box because it got here so late. So I've seen all the videos pretty much. At least I've seen a few videos uh can't say i've seen all of them because that would definitely be a lie you know i always pull out the menu and the artist featured artist of the month uh Olson is floral fine artist and art educator residing in orange county california she has a mother of two hazel and violet her real masterpieces who keep her hands very busy i hear you i hear you there when there isn't a brush in them in addition to selling her artworks online she teaches the fundamentals of watercolor to students all across the world you can find the majority of her classes on skillshare her new book botanical watercolor for beginners is set to launch spring 2022 para one of my goals is, wow, this is absolutely gorgeous. One of my goals this year is, well, well I'll save that for the next video. But beautiful artwork, beautiful artwork. So this is funny. I saw um, Doomsayer and Tristy Smith's videos uh, talking about how these things will not stand. So let's see. They do rock back and forth like a pendulum. Can we do like a little pendulum action going on here? Hold on, hold on. Oh, too hard. Let's try again. Be like a little art pendulum. Yeah, these things are not very well balanced. And we have Sketchbox Signature Watercolor Powder, a truly magical medium that plays well with an all wet medium made up of multiple pigments that can blend to create the final color a little goes a long way this is close to a lifetime supply we have them in grape orange turquoise and navy blue this is going to be really interesting and i know a lot of people don't like that they have sketchbox signatures doomsayer explained it very well it's hard to gauge the prices and they can really cut corners on packaging so christy mentioned something that's a very good point if you compare it to the other watercolor product that we got, which was the TCW Color Sparks watercolor powder, this bottle feels a lot more sturdy and these feel very, very cheap. These feel almost like um, 
like those eye squirting, like the eye solution, eye dropper bottles. You know, they feel very, very cheap and they can't even stand. So who knows how much they spent on the bottle itself for them to say that they retail for $4.99 each. This retails for $6. This retails for $4.99. I don't know how true this is really priced for. There's really no way to tell because they're not gonna tell you how much it actually costs to make. So you don't really know how much they're actually saving and how much you're actually missing out on a box. So I can understand why some people don't like that. Next we have the custom TCW Color Sparks watercolor powder in Bougainville, I think. Mix with water to use as watercolor or sprinkle on a wet surface for a fun blooming effect and it's $6. Next we have the Rembrandt watercolor titanium white. It retails for $9.95. Use this watercolor in combination with the watercolor powders in this one's box to create a variety of tints. We have another Sketchbox signature item, a Filbert brush number four, a classic watercolor brush with some incredible synthetic hair used to create fine line or thick petals by varying your hand pressure. It retails for $5.95. Next is a Copic Multiliner in Lavender. I love that. Use this multiliner to outline your artwork or create stems for florals. It's pigment ink, water, and Copic proof. 0.5. It retails for $3.99. Next is the Custom Magnani. I think that's 1404 Portofino Cotton Pad. This hot press pad contains 15 sheets of acid-free paper for you to create your work of art. Seems pretty nice. And our sticker for this month, is this little bottle. I forgot to record me putting it in my sketchbook, but it's it's there. Now that the box is empty, let's go ahead and see what we think of the box. I already drew what I wanted to make for this box. Now the question is, do I want to do this in my sketchbook or do I want to do this on here? Although the bottles are terrible, 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 terrible for actually putting the powder out. Once you have it in like a watercolor form, these colors are so vibrant and really pretty. That's so funny how this came out. I was not expecting it to be this much of a mess. Crazy. Yeah, this is the sketch box of this month. A few things that I do think about this. Um, there's absolutely zero control in that puppy right there. The, um, the signature watercolor powder. You could just tell the difference. Like Christy had mentioned in her video, there's a huge difference in how these bottles maneuver the watercolor powder. I could be very precise with this. Well, I wouldn't say extremely precise, but I could just tap this and little sprinkles, like little dust particles would come out. But I can't do that with this because once I start tapping, it'll just randomly just go everywhere. It'll be a mountain of powder. And at that rate, I feel like this is not gonna be worth or almost worth a lifetime supply because it goes all over the place. It just spreads all the way out. And yeah, I don't know. Okay, so here is what we are left with. Pretty much all dry. You can't see her little hair rings though. I want to find my jelly white, my jelly pen though, but I have no idea where I put it. You know what? It's probably in my little bag. So I put a lot of my favorite stuff in. Oh, I see it. I used uh, the Stabilo and I'm using the jelly roll pen. I know that it didn't come in the box. I really shouldn't be using it, but I want to post this on Redbubble. I really want to make um, more of a passive income. I have a couple stickers on my Redbubble that do sell, but I want to add more. This is it. She is done. I'm going to take a picture of her and then edit her on my iPad. And then I'm going to put her right in here and I actually really enjoyed it I enjoyed doing doing this I'm gonna do um another Valentine's Day theme yeah sketchbox could definitely do better that's all I'm gonna say they could definitely do better but it came out cute the colors were really nice I was surprised by how much I liked the orange the orange really makes me kind of happy what else was I thinking about this um this was an absolute disaster I will never do this again. 
well at least uh, not for now but the color did end up coming up kind of pretty and i like the little blobs out there i think it makes for an interesting page in the sketchbook i really like the way she came out i've been experimenting with these like eyes and i think i found an eye style that i really 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 like it's like a combination of um i want to say like i really like jacqueline de leon's eyes but i also really like the way that camilla derrico right that's her name i don't know if i'm saying it right but i really like the way she does like the creepy looking kind of eyes like i'm really i'm i really like that kind of stuff i like the weird stuff and i really liked the way that that looked and so i've just been experimenting and just adding this kind of eye to this kind of eye and i finally came up with something that i really really like and i think is really cute but not like cute as in like overly cute it's just cute in a style that that i like i originally had a whole other idea for my red bubble because i was planning it to be like kind of like a halloween all year long kind of thing because i'm really into that stuff um but also i'm very much trying to make art that would represent my culture but also represent the afro latina community because i think of my children and i feel like i need to make more art i feel like there's not a lot out there a lot of art out there that can resonate with like alternative people of color yeah so i'm trying to find my style more and more and more i really liked i really like these eyes i don't know how i got here see this is like the rambling thing that i do but um that being said sketchbox not the box for me i'm not a fan of these watercolor powders i've never been a fan of the watercolor powders but i'm not gonna lie the pigment is really really nice they're really really vibrant and i ended up really liking this so who knows we'll see what we do for the update so one thing i know for sure i like is this this i love this this is awesome and this is a really nice pink um this is going to be interesting to add to the other ones that i have we received a few of these before um i think we have a purple one and an olive one those are the two that i know that i for sure have the paper is so so it's nothing too crazy although i am really surprised by the amount of water that it held i do have one complaint about the brush now that i remember i don't know if it's maybe because the brush is just so small it didn't really hold a lot of water for me like when i tried to put water on the paper it would only pick up so much water Water. but when it came to picking up the paint it did a great job at that it was just laying water out like to do like a flat wash it's not good for that but I try to stick to only the materials that come in the box which is why I didn't use another brush like a mop brush to do the the background to lay some flat color as you can see it was really hard to get a flat wash and I did use my Stabilo pen whatever liner Stabilo it's not waterproof at all but I did use this to do Clean a little bit more of, of the outline but, and yeah, just that's it thank you so much for joining me and I hope to see you next time Bye.